This is a bloody pig's breakfast. Your Honour is, of course, absolutely correct. Well? Your Honour, despite the regrettable comments made on radio earlier this morning, the prosecution sees no impediment to this matter proceeding as planned. Miss Fletcher. Your Honour, this matter was thrown out at committal. It's absurd that it's even Make your to this point, stage. Miss Fletcher. Adam Kent has a 20% market share of the breakfast radio audience. He described my client as a rapist, quote-unquote. There's no way my client will get a fair trial. By its nature, this case has attracted a certain amount of publicity. Thanks to the DPP. The comments of one breakfast radio announcer should be seen in the context of the accused public standing. We would argue that the public interest outweighs the exceedingly remote chance... You're not talking to a jury now, Mr. ...of Kowalski. Adam Kent influencing any potential jury members. If it pleases the court... Yes, Mr. Quinn. Your Honour is aware of certain personal issues I'm faced with. The current fiasco isn't helping. I ask Your Honour's permission to sit behind counsel. Given the circumstances, my presence in this dock seems unnecessary. I've considered your request, Mr. Quinn, but I must point out that you are sitting where you are right now because you are the accused. Permission denied. As your honour pleases. I am aware of the accused illness, and I take very seriously the argument that this case carries considerable public interest. But Mr. Quinn has not yet been tried. Your honour. There's no chance of a fair trial. We're adjourning for six months. What am I?